I'd known the founders of, uh, of, of Gojek for quite a while. Um, actually, I'd helped out with a photo shoot for, for their first website. And I just kind of got enchanted by the business. So having been born and raised in, uh, in, in Jakarta, I always kind of wanted to work on something that, that adds value, just because you know, being foreign, speaking the language, understanding the culture, I wanted to see how I could leverage these in order to, uh, to actually uh, have a positive contribution. I contacted uh, Nadim and the guys and I said, hey, you know, are you looking for, uh, for somebody to help out with marketing? And they said, do you know what you're getting yourself into? And I said, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come on and, uh, and, 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 and fight the battle with you guys. At one point, what we had figured out is there, among all the madness, uh, there's one common theme. And uh, that common theme in, in the context of Indonesia is being able to, uh, to uh, arbitrage time, right? Because that's, that's really what it comes down to, because whether it's transport or a food delivery or uh, a cleaning service or whatever it is, the one thing that connects all of them together is the fact that it saves you time. And it's time that you can use for whatever else it is that you want to do. You want to spend time with your family, you want to spend time with your kids, you want to spend time uh, with my cat. It doesn't matter what you spend that time on, but now you kind of have a little bit more control over it. It's also a sense of uh, uh, someone's got your back. In a city like Jakarta, it was just all helter-skelter all over the place. I still call the traffic situation there like Russian roulette because you kind of get your yourself into you know the trend that you understand what's going on and then all of a sudden you get thrown a Hail Mary and you're just like oh my god I don't know what to do here. I don't have a car, I don't have a driver um, and I utilize a lot of the services and once I go outside of, uh, of Indonesia even to places like Singapore I actually start getting a little bit stressed. Two weeks ago, I was in I was in Singapore at a, at a at a conference, and I was late because I'm so used to taking bikes that I did not take a bike, and I actually didn't even know how to function. <laughs> I think in some cases people get caught up on you know what is the consumer journey and how do we make this experience 360 and you've got all this other stuff but they forget the fact of how are you as a product or how are you as a service actually adding value to a person's life and that's where um, that's where a lot of our communication is built around it's really not around things like price etc it's about what can you do now that Gojek is a part of your life you go to ask an Indonesian what their life looked like without Gojek some of them won't even be able to tell you because it's just become such a uh, such an important part of what they do. This is kind of where it's really important to understand how to tell that story. Have we had some success with it? Sure. Are we perfect at it? Absolutely not. Uh, there's still plenty of space to uh, uh, to learn. Um, and actually, what we've been what we've been really focusing in, on now is. How do we innovate within already existing channels and already existing ways of, of, of communicating? I'll give you a perfect example. It was a long form copy uh, billboard, and uh, and it and it went, uh, went it went pretty crazy for the first time in a long time. I can't remember the, the last time that it happened. There were people talking about communications. It's not just a case of company growing so fast but the overall marketing industry is just going forward at breakneck speeds and um, you know it's affecting everybody from the agencies to the brands to the production houses to the client side to and it's just become this giant you know uh, this giant race and um, you know I think we're, we're all still in a process of learning it's really about accepting that you don't know and figuring out a way to actually figure it out. Take frameworks that already exist and try to reformat them for what we need. I read an incredible amount. I read more now than I ever did in, in high school and college. The way that I look at it and the, the way that I try to remind the team is we have to try and upgrade our skills by 
the amount of uh, growth that we have. So if the company is growing 10% month on month, how are you upgrading your skills 10% month on month? You know, what I hope to accomplish, you know, in the position that, that, uh, that I'm so fortunate to have now is how can we really harness this incredible creativity that is existent in Indonesia because you see the paintings, you see the artwork, it's there. And how can we actually harness it and bring it into um, uh, marketing, advertising, branding and really take this to, to, uh, to another level as an industry because for us what we do is fine and great but if we can help uh, be a part of uh, innovation and, and, and progress within an industry, oh, that would be fantastic.